In the previous video, we created this code to take our 3 8 end mill from here and around this end of the part and take the finish cut off of this edge and these two radii. Now, we need to add the code to take another 3 8 carbide end mill and rough it. So first, I brought this code back. I've cut and paste the RPM in the start position because they'll be the same because it's the same size cutter. We're picking up our height offset too feeding down to our depth of cut. So once we get to the depth of cut, we're gonna pick up cutter comp to the right of any X and Y geometry we program. How much to the right is what's stored in DO2. And in DO2, I'm gonna put the radius of the cutter plus 25 thou that I wanna leave for this finish cut. The important thing to note here is this, the sum of these two numbers must be less than this radius because this radius from the cutter's point of view is internal and it can't cut a radius smaller than its physical size. So next we need to calculate the X and when we use the rougher, we're gonna program this path, the exact part geometry. So I need this start coordinate for the part geometry, which is here, X 1.3845. So I've entered that and we can go to our next line and just start coding around the part. And this time I'm gonna enter the part geometry coordinates instead of the cutter center coordinates. But all the geo1s and 2s will be the same up here as they were here. It's just the x and y values won't be incremental and they won't be the center of the cutter, they'll be the part geometry. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter those values and then we'll examine them. So I've entered these values, let's just refresh our plot and it looks good. So if we start from the beginning, we can see here we are with our rough cut and here's our finished cut. So let's just go back and look at this again. So here we put our tool in the spindle and describe it. We position and turn the spindle on like we always have. Pick up our height offset, wrap it so the bottom of the tool is 100 thou above the part and turn the coolant on. Then we feed down to our depth of cut and the cutter is still following essentially the same path as it did here. It's just going to be 25 thou further over this way at center. And then we tell the machine, G42, compensate the center of the cutter to the right of any values I give you by the amount found in diameter offset two. And here's the X position and here's what should be stored in diameter offset two as a note for us humans. Then cut a clockwise arc ending at this X and this Y following this radius path. Then cut a counterclockwise arc, so this arc here ending at this X and this Y following this radius path. Switch back to linear feed and feed from here to here. And then again, we cut a counterclockwise arc from this position to this. So we start at this X and this Y, we end at this X and this Y, and we follow this radius path. Lastly, we arc off the part ending at this X and this Y following this radius path. And all of these coordinates are the exact part geometry because we've told the machine here, I no longer want to think about the center of the cutter. You compensate for the center of the cutter, and I'm going to tell you the exact part geometry coordinates, and you compensate the center of the cutter by the amount.